Elgato just dropped their biggest upgrade for content creators. This is the 4KX, the brand new capture card that everyone has been waiting for. What's going on everyone? This is Milan here at Infinite Life and let's get into this unboxing and discuss this brand new capture card. So what makes this brand new capture card special from the previous HD60X? Well, we are finally in the HDMI 2.1 era, which means we can finally capture content in 4K, 144Hz with variable refresh rate, HDR10, and low latency pass-through. Now the previous gen HD60X was limited only to HDMI 2.0, which does not support the higher refresh rate or variable refresh rates or even HDR. The previous capture card even maxed out at 4K 60 pass-through and 4K 30 or 1080p 60 capture. But now, with the brand new 4KX, which does support HDMI 2.1, we get all the next-gen features without any compromise. So what does all this mean? If you are capturing content from your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox Series X, we get maxed out 4K 120Hz HDR10 and variable refresh rate pass through with the Elgato 4KX. Now this is everything these next gen consoles promise, so no compromise in visuals or capabilities with your console gaming. Now when it comes to the capture side of things, the results are a little bit different, but not by much. You can still get 4K 120Hz variable refresh rate, but instead of HDR, we get standard dynamic range, aka SDR. Now it is possible to get HDR capture, but you will then need to downgrade your resolution either to 4K 30, 1440p 60, or 1080p 120. So when streaming or capturing content to share, you know your audience will be getting the best quality, hands down. So let's go. What's amazing is that Elgato were able to keep the same form factor as the HD60X. I mean, this thing looks completely identical. On the front, we have the 4KX inscription in the middle. To the left, we have the status light. And on the right, we have the chat link cable auxiliary input. Now the chat link cable will only affect PlayStation 5 users like myself. So on PlayStation, if you plug in a headset to your controller, you lose audio through the HDMI port. So if you use a headset while streaming, your audience will lose audio. The additional Chatlink Pro, which is not included, will be needed to remedy this situation. But on the back of the 4KX is where the real magic of this capture card is. All we have are three simple ports, but these three ports mean everything. We have two HDMI 2.1 ports and an updated USB 3.2 Gen 2 connector, which allows up to 10 gigabytes per second of data transfer. Honestly, this little thing is magic. Now inside the box, you also get one 8K HDMI cable and one USB 3.2 C to C cable. So let's go ahead and get this new capture card set up. First off, unplug your console from the monitor. Now, take the HDMI 2.1 cable that came with your console and have one end plugged into your console and the other end of the cable plugged into the HDMI in port on the left. Next, take the HDMI 2.1 cable, which was included with the 4KX Plug one end into the HDMI out port on the 4KX capture card and the other end of the HDMI 2.1 cable into your monitor. Lastly, take the USB 3.2C cable which was included with the 4KX, plug one end into your capture card and the other end into your computer. And that's it. It is honestly that simple. Your connection setup is now complete. Now this will allow you to capture content and save the files directly to your computer or allow you to stream directly to the internet via the most popular social media applications like Twitch, Kik, YouTube, TikTok, and more. Now when it comes to capture and streaming content, my experience is with OBS. So let's run through a quick setup for the 4KX. Now before we do anything in OBS, first let's go into our console settings to turn off HDCP, which stands for High Definition Copyright Protection. The important thing to note is that having this turned on will prevent the 4KX from capturing game footage via the device. Now on the PlayStation 5, go to the Settings menu, then System and down to HDMI. In this screen, you will see Enable HDCP. Make sure you have this turned off. Okay, now let's head over to the computer. 
Once we have OBS open, click on the plus icon in the source box and select Video Capture Device. Give the source a name, and from the source drop-down box, select 4KX. And if everything is connected properly, you should see your console home screen pop up on OBS. Now if you're on Mac OS, like I am, click on the plus icon on the source box one more time, and go to Audio Input Capture. Give the source a name, and click OK. From the Device Menu drop-down box, you should be able to select 4KX. Add the audio source, and you are all set with Elgato's brand new 4KX and OBS. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not forget the brand new 4K Pro, Elgato's internal capture card, which allows you to do up to 8K 60 frames per second or 4K 240 frames per second pass through. It also allows for 4K 60 HDR capture, where the 4KX only allows for 4K 30 HDR capture. All right, you guys, well, there you have it. The brand new 4KX capture card from Elgato. This device will future-proof your content creation into the HDMI 2.1 era. If you are considering purchasing the Elgato 4KX, please consider using my affiliate links below as it does help support my channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification icon for future videos. Follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next video.